I literally just walked out here with this paddle. The males all went together and the females went their own way. Okay, so now I'm out here hanging out with the yearlings. You guys have seen me spend some time out here. One reason is because of this water. You can see still been hanging out in it, raking that water out on them. I went and got the green tub. I got some feed in it today. I got three tons of our four-way blend. And the reason I got some more feed in it is because I'm gonna separate the bulls, our yearlings out of here. So there's five yearling bulls in here. We went and bought some, remember back when we went to Missouri. We also bought some heifers too as well. I'm gonna use them for breeding. They're not ready to breed right now. I know some of you are like, Dunbar needs more ladies. Well, I know he does, but yearlings aren't old enough to uh, breed yet. So they have to be two years old to breed. But what I have to do is I've got to try to get these females out of here and I'm gonna let them out in the big herd and I'm gonna actually let them out uh, where I just brush hogged this Bermuda grass and then the big herd will be able to mix in with them. So I'm gonna let these yearling heifers go. Some of them have never even been with the big herd before. So there's no sense to have these heifers in here anymore. We can let them out and let them do their thing and graze heavy with the big herd. Get them out on this Bermuda that I just ran these strips on to test that project and see if they like that short grass. Oh, I've gotta figure out how to cut these guys real quick. And when I say cut, that just basically means work them, separate them and, into different pins and break them apart basically is all it is. I'm not physically cutting them, but cutting them. Uh, we're just uh, working them basically, so all right. Let's see what we can do. This is Eleanor's calf, this guy. He's always up to something. You need to shed your hair. You guys follow that bull right there. I appreciate it. Boys are going with the boys. Perfect. That's three. Need a couple more. Here comes one. I think they're communicating because I was I put some poured some feed in there so it'll hold them up, keep them busy. Last bull right here. I'd really like to get Lumpy in, but he's a little bit more difficult. Guys, I'm gonna tell you something right there. It's one of the easiest cutting jobs I've ever done. The fourth one's back there somewhere, but I got him. The only one I'm missing is Lumpy. So if you guys don't recognize this, this is where we actually work the bison. This is their U shape right here, and then go down the alley and into the squeeze chute. But we like to keep this gate open always because when the bison come in here, whether we're feeding or they have to come in here for water, it teaches them to come in here all the time if they want access to the corral. That makes it a routine for them. They're used to that so that when we do work them, we can catch them in here and it makes it easier on us. Don't have to go and round them up when we need to go work them. We can just get them in here at the right time and we can pin them up from there, just like I did. Guys, I'm gonna have to be honest with you. That was super easy. Raising bison is not easy, but I just literally walked out here with this paddle There's one of our heifers that we raised. <laughs> I literally just walked out here with this paddle and the males all went together and the females went their own way. The females went in there now with them, but it's okay, I've got another gate. I wanted to get the females in there uh, because there's an, a lane that we use that we can uh, get them out directly to the big pasture, but we may just use this gate right here, right there. That was way too easy and it doesn't always go that way i promise sometimes you just gotta have a little luck and patience sometimes these animals will just go you know if you just show them in the right direction lumpy's hanging out back here i really need him uh kind of 
started some uh, some new uh, ideas with Lumpy. I'm gonna keep you guys updated on, but uh, I'll just quickly do it while I'm separating them. But I talked to Oklahoma State University, my alma mater. We may work something out to help Lumpy. We may make some moves on Lumpy's hernia. And uh, I'll keep you updated on it, but after talking to a doctor from Oklahoma State, we may start kind of moving in the right direction to see if, if we can possibly help Lumpy's hernia. Possibly. I'll keep you guys updated from there. My wife and I got to make a decision if that's the direction we want to go with him. But I will let you know and keep you updated if you guys want to see if we can get this hernia taken care of for him. So we'll keep you updated. But let's get these uh, females out. Try to... What's up, Dunbar? Go so fellas. You probably want to know what's going on, don't you? Working on it. What's up, big guy? So the idea is, this is where Dunbar and those two ladies are. I like to get them in this lane. This is where we also worked Dunbar and Big Joe to get them separated and switched. Um, you guys probably recognize it. This is where they met right here. You can go back and watch a couple of videos of the bull challenge, the bull swap challenge. But this is really green grass and it, it grabs their attention. They like hanging out in here. I've got the bulls in here now, which is, they're locked away, that's perfect. Still need to get lumpy, but he's gonna be, he's gonna be his own project. Now you get these females in here and we can send them straight out to the big pasture, which they'll be able to join Big Joe and the big females. They're ready to go in. That's little quapaw heifer. Hopefully she'll go find the grass. This is the heifer that Noah gave us right here. She's pretty chill too. Let's go out here and see if we can get these last two looking to run it up and that's where Lumpy is. Come on. Ladies and Lumpy, they may naturally just go to that area. They may not. Let's see who the leader is going to be here. Uh, let's see, just give them a little bit of time. I hear Brooks crying. Now we gotta go shut the gate before they realize what's going on. There we go. Perfect. This is where we want them. We got bulls here. Got the females here. They only 
unperfect situation is our boy over here, Mr. Lumpy. Gotta get him out. Got him. There he is. Little skittish. All right, Lumpy's with the bulls. So next move, just put the green feeder out. So I'm gonna let the bulls in there so they can have access to the feed and they can graze some too. We're gonna keep the females in here and we're gonna let them out into the big pasture out that lane where that orange gate is just like where we let big joe out All right, fellas, you're set free again. Come on, you guys can go. Let them figure it out. All it takes is one. You too, Lumpy. You can go too. Hang in there, buddy. All right, so here's the next strategy. These females are gonna run past me whenever I get down there in a tight area. This is probably not safe if they're adult animals. They're gonna stop here and I'm gonna come back and we'll get them out in the big pasture and let them uh, do what they're doing right now and graze. So I'm going to ease down here and try to open this orange gate. Hey, Dunbar. Easy, ladies. Just coming by. That gate just needs a little bit of love. It's been uh, thrown off the hinge a couple of times by Dunbar. <laughs> Broken by Dunbar. Shocking, right? All right, I'm gonna let these females out into the pasture. All right, now I need you to come back. You guys are having fun grazing, but. side because it's paneled a little safer to exit all right let's see what freedom looks like this again oh that's fun actually when you have an idea of a plan I told my wife what I wanted to do and what my idea was and luckily it just worked out like I said luckily but this is why we do this is so that 
this is why we spend a lot of time with our bison and hanging out with them is so that we can handle them that way they're not bouncing off the pins and, and, and going crazy we're able to do that I'm able to do that because Kevin and I spend time with them and it makes it easy on us easier on us when we do this yeah that was fun let's check out the big man right here he always wants to know what's going on he's got to check everything out he's nosy I don't blame him right hey guys I just want to thank you for watching just doing bison ranching <laughs> I don't know what else to call it really but uh now the cool part about this is I just knocked two two birds with one stone right here we've got these out here they're going to mix with the big herd eventually we've got to get the big herd up here the big joint herd they're kind of way down on the bottom right now We'll get them up here and mix with these females. No, they cannot breed. They're too young. They're yearlings. You gotta be two years old to reach the breeding stages. But the other part is this is where I just brush hogged those lanes, like I said earlier, and we'll test and see if they're really hitting this low Bermuda, kind of right in the middle of this hot summer. Anyways, guys, it's fun just doing all this stuff. And uh, like I said, I'm able to do this because we spend so much time with these animals. I know on the big ranches, it, it's hard to do this and it's different. Mine is, this is a small bison ranch and uh, on the big places, it's way different. And you've probably watched some of my videos of, of us going to do some of that and some of the places, I've, the field trips I've been on. I hope to continue to do that too, by the way. But also, guys got a new hat. Yes, we came out with the shirt, uh, Pioneer of the Plains. A couple months ago now i've got a hat created and i think this is pretty cool it's a got a little native color to it so you can check the hats out at crosstimmersbison.com it's online right now guys anyways thank you guys for watching us and i uh, hope you enjoy the videos subscribe to us guys you can follow us along raising these awesome animals here this was a calf raised here on the ranch our second year of calves and i mean look at her she's just coming up here and saying hi she wants back in here where the fresh grass is but i'm not gonna let her <laughs> see oh no get back get back she wants in here where she just came from but thank you guys for watching us